until 150 years ago, when people thought, where is the ancient biblical city of Jerusalem? The city synonymous with King David, King Solomon, prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah? There was one answer, and that answer was not where we're standing right now. The answer is what we have over here today, the old city of Jerusalem, with the iconic old city walls, which are only 400 plus years old. Now, if you're coming from the U.S., that sounds like a long time. If you're coming from the Middle East, from Jerusalem, 4,000 years, 400 years ago is like last month, right? We don't get that excited about 400-year-old things here. So, up until 150 years ago, everyone thinks that is the original city of Jerusalem. 1867, Queen Victoria of England wants to discover the treasures of the Bible, the Ark of the Covenant. So, if you want to find the treasures of the Bible, where are you going to go? You're going to go to the Holy Land. And if you're going to go to one place in the Holy Land, one city, you'll come to... Jerusalem. And if you're going to search one place in Jerusalem to find the treasures of the Bible, where will you go? Temple Mount, right in front of us, right? You see the gray dome, that is the Al-Aqsa Mosque, number three holy site according to Islam. Behind that you have the golden dome of the rock. We're standing on the roof of this building right over here. Here's Al-Aqsa, here's the dome of the rock. This is a spot where according to Muslim tradition, Muhammad goes on his night journey, learns tradition of Muslim prayer. According to biblical tradition, when you speak of the dome of the rock, the rock that's being referred to is known as the foundation stone, literally the center of all creation. It's the spot where, according to biblical tradition, the binding of Isaac takes place. It's the spot where David's son Solomon will build the temple, which stands for over four centuries, hence the name Temple Mount. The temple is destroyed 586 by the Babylonians, rebuilt 70 years later, destroyed by the Romans in the year 70. All of that's happening up here on the Temple Mount. So now, what happens? Charles Warren, this archaeologist, he wants to find the treasures of the Bible. He goes to the Temple Mount, except in 1867, the Ottomans are here, the Muslims, and they say, Charles, we're sure you are a great guy, but you are not going to dig up the Temple Mount. And so Charles Warren says, if I can't excavate on the Temple Mount, I'll do the next best thing, which is to excavate near the Temple Mount. Under we don't do. Under, under Ra gets people a little bit funny over here. So near the Temple Mount. He comes down the slopes of the Temple Mount, walking through the valley beneath us over here, and he comes across an ancient spring. This is the Gihon Spring. It has been flowing for thousands of years to this very day. It's 